For uh, the second day in a row, I'll start the national forecast with uh, record highs that were posted for the previous day. The only problem is there was more of them, and we posted 44 across central, southern, and western areas of the nation. Here's just a handful of them. West Chicago, Denver, St. Louis, Kansas City, Ontario, California, all posted daily record highs. We'll still have plenty of warmth to go around today. And at some point today, we'll have an update on the drought situation. Still a lot of severe, extreme to exceptional drought out there. We'll have some increasing moisture. Return for the end of the week and the weekend for at least the southwestern United States. Plenty of rain and mountain snow. Not enough to really make a big difference to the drought, but I'll take anything I can get. Red flag warnings and fire weather watches are noted for areas of Colorado, New Mexico, and near the panhandle of Oklahoma and northern Texas. Saturday, watching for severe weather possibilities in the Midwest, up to a slight risk right now in that yellow shade for scattered severe storms possible near the Des Moines area. That atmospheric river continues its shift to the south, getting closer and closer to California. We'll have some increasing showers there later today and really doesn't pick up steam region-wide until the weekend, Friday into Saturday, lingering into Sunday as it digs eastward. Until then, still very warm for a lot of the southern United States. So we'll continue to have quite a bit of warmth out there before that area low pressure really dives in. We'll have rain and mountain snow in areas of the Intermountain West and the Pacific Northwest finally getting a break today.